Welcome viewer and welcome to Artistry. My name is Daniel Ndongo uh, from SOS Technical Training Institute and uh, we are continuing with our series uh, on electrical installation and uh, we are going to continue with our uh, last uh, topic uh, that is on fundamentals of electricity. Now last time uh, we discovered that uh, uh, when we have electricity flowing uh, we, there are times that we devised, uh, we said uh, we have the charge difference uh, known as voltage uh, we said we have current uh, resistance and conductor voltage uh, is simply the force that drives current. The force that drives current. That is, uh, the higher the potential uh, difference between the two points is, the higher the current that can be able to flow. The higher the current that can be able to flow. Uh, on current, current is the rate of flow. The rate of flow of electrons, uh, we refer to that as current. Then resistance, uh, this is the opposition. to it is the opposition to the flow of uh, current and then we have the conductor uh, this is the path path that uh, electrons flow in or well, this is the medium uh, on which uh, electrons move. Now, on voltage, on voltage, uh, the, we have said that the higher the voltage, the higher the voltage, the higher the amount of current that can flow. That is, the relationship that exists between voltage and current is a direct uh, proportion, direct proportion. On current, we have said that current is the flow uh, the rate of flow of electrons and resistance is the opposition to the flow of current and uh, the last item that we are talking about is the conductor and we are saying that is the path uh, on which electrons uh, flow when we come to uh, electricity we have said that uh, electricity is actually uh, due to current because uh, when electrons are flowing we have said that we have uh, that's when we have or that's uh, when they possess energy and the good thing with electricity is that electricity can be transformed to all to other forms of uh, energy with a lot of ease for example if you need to put on light if you need to put on light you just need a bulb and you connect it to electricity and you get light but if you don't have electricity for you to get light you either have to burn some uh, fossil fuel so that you can get light and in the process, uh, we get carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So, uh, and of course, the process of lighting, uh, the, the space that you want to light, uh, of course, it takes time. If you compare that with uh, when you have electricity and you just need to switch on uh, the light. So, uh, that's what uh, we have. Now, when it comes to conductor, uh, this is where uh, it's a bit amazing. Because uh, a conductor, this is a media that will allow uh, electrons uh, to flow. From our last topic, we have seen that uh, all matter uh, do contain atoms. And these atoms, that is where we have uh, electrons. And it is amazing because uh, there are some materials whereby uh, electrons Electrons can 
leave there are some materials whereby electrons can leave the mother atom and when they leave the mother atom they can flow but there are other materials that it is not possible for the electrons to leave the mother atom for materials where it is possible for them to leave the mother atoms we refer to these as conductors we refer to them as conductors and uh, all metals seem to fall in this category of conductors all metals seem to follow in the category of conductors but there are other materials whereby uh, despite having a similar structure it is not possible to have uh, electrons leave the mother atoms and uh, whereby electrons cannot be able to leave the, the mother atoms we call them non-conductors we call them non-conductors or simply insulators or simply insulators go to them as uh, insulators resistance we have said that this is the opposition to the flow of uh, current this opposition this opposition is due to the fact that when electrons are moving they are colliding with other uh, atoms and other electrons and in the process of collision uh, we have opposition because uh, they are not the only uh, media uh, that is there so there is that collision and this collision is very very important in electricity because uh, due to this collision we get something that is very important known as heat heat uh, is a very very important aspect because heat for one heat is a form of energy form of energy so uh, just by the fact that current is flowing uh, then it is possible with a lot of ease to change electric current to another form of energy and the first form we are seeing is heat heat uh, is uh, used uh, in cooking and and in other other industrial processes uh, for doing other things so just by the fact that electricity is flowing uh, uh, we are able to get uh, the first transformation of uh, of electricity to heat and we have said that the reason why electricity is one of the most sought after sources of energy is because you can transform this uh, energy to other forms that you that you may require and uh, that is that then we have said that the the rate of flow uh, of electrons is what we are calling current and uh, we have that now uh, there is a relationship that exists uh, to actually relate uh, the uh, the factors that we have seen and this was devised some years back by uh, a germany uh, engineer who was called ottoman uh, Ohms, and from that he wrote or what is known as Ohm's law. So there is, a, there is a relationship that exists between these factors known as Ohm's law. And it states that uh, current current is directly proportional to voltage and proportional and inversely proportional to resistance
if the physical condition are kept at constant kept at constant so uh, from this law uh, this law can be mathematically expressed because uh, the units for voltage are known and the unit for voltage is known as volts and the symbol is V the symbol is V uh, the units for current are known and it is in amperes and it is normally indicated in uh, ampere uh, again uh, ampere is from the person who uh, discovered it it was called he was called Adre ampere and the units are named after him and the symbol is i the symbol is i the flow the opposition to the flow of current uh, the units are known as uh, ohms the known the units are known as ohms and uh, they, we use this symbol we use that symbol for ohms and uh, the symbol is simply r the symbol is simply r so the relationship that does exist between uh, the the three variable is like this that i is equal to v over r that is if all the physical conditions are kept constant uh, we are going to see when it comes to the flow of uh, electricity or that is the flow of current there are other factors that may affect this flow and those factors are normally referred to as physical factors and uh, one of them or the one the one that is so critical is temperature is temperature so uh, the physical factor that we are keeping here in mind is temperature we know that temperature virtually affects uh, everything from chemical reaction uh, to the flow of current so uh, that's why we have said that so the relationship that does exist is uh, the, the current flowing is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to uh, resistance and uh, that's what uh, we have the other factors or there is something else that we need to consider and that is something that is known as power uh, we know that electricity is a form of energy and because electricity is a form of energy then uh, there is uh, a very important aspect on uh, power because power is the rate the rate of uh, doing work the rate of doing work so the, if you are doing work at a faster rate then uh, you're also using more energy you're also using more energy because uh, work is expense of energy work is expense of energy so uh, when we are talking about power uh, we are talking about the rate at which we are working and uh, normally work in uh, the physical world we say this is the rate at which we are transforming uh, one form of energy to another for example uh, if you have a lamp and uh, you want so much light in a room then it means that you have to use a lamp that has a higher rating meaning that that lamp can be able to convert uh, so much energy so much electrical energy to light energy within a specific time and that's why we need to understand uh, this uh, back to our own slow back to our own slow and we have seen from our own slow uh, there is a law that govern this so for example if we take an example uh, something that is very basic like an electrical heater
water heater. We need uh, this water heater to perform a job for us. And the job that uh, we want for, the, for it to do is we want to, it to convert electrical energy to heat energy so that it can heat uh, the water and uh, conversely uh, lies the water temperature. So uh, from Ohm's law, we know that this must apply, that the current that is flowing must be proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. So in our bit to analyze how the heater works, uh, then we need to have, uh, we, we need to have uh, the heater working at a level, at a specific rate. So what would change? What would change is this, we would do consideration of this, such that our water heater has a low resistance so that it can allow more current to flow and, uh, and uh, automatically we get power. The units for power, power is in watts and for us to get power, power is a product of I which is current times voltage which uh, is the force that drives current. So in this uh, scenario, the current will be multiplied by voltage to get power, which is the rate at which work is being done. So a specific heater will have uh, to have uh, a certain amount of resistance so that it will allow a certain amount of current to flow. And uh, that's what uh, we need to, to understand so that we know how or how possible it is to convert electrical energy to heat energy. We have seen that power is uh, the rate of doing work and the work that we are doing here is converting uh, electrical energy to another form of energy, be it uh, electrical energy to light energy or to heat energy. And we have seen that current uh, multiplied by voltage gives us this power. And we have seen that power, the units for power is in watts. Uh, and uh, the rate of doing work uh, when it comes to science is very important because we can determine uh, how fast uh, work will be done and uh, for us for work simply is the expense of energy or the use of energy so that's what we have uh, here for our conclusion uh, today we have seen that uh, we have seen about Ohm's law and we have said Ohm's law uh, gives us current is equal to voltage divided by resistance and we have also seen that power is the rate of doing work and it is given by current times voltage. Viewer, we have come to the end of the lesson. Uh, your presenter was Mr. Ndongo and stay tuned.